Hi guys! I know it's been forever since I filmed a video. I'm really sorry about that. Um, the air conditioning in my house does not work very well, so the past several months have been really rough for me because it's been so hot in my house. So I've been waiting for the weather to kind of cool down again so that my house will be cooled down and here we are. So we're finally getting into fall, thank god. It's starting to get cooler outside. Today was a little bit warmer again, like yesterday was perfect. Today was 80 something, but it was still pretty warm out there. So I'm hoping tomorrow the weather kind of like goes back down again because like yesterday was perfect. I went outside with Alden. We hadn't played outside in so long because it's just been so nasty out there. Um, I mean, we've been having heat warnings or heat advisories for so long because of how bad it's been. In St. Louis, it's just really humid and it's it's gross. Anyway, hopefully I can start making videos again as often as I used to make videos. Um, with the cooler months upon us, it should be a lot easier for me, so there is that. Um, I think my last video, I did a what's in my purse with my new cheetah print purse that I got from Etsy. Um, I love that purse. I did switch purses. I'm using a purse you guys have seen before. Um, the reason I switched was because when I go to Target to get groceries and whatnot, I like to put my purse on crossbody, and I was using the cheetah print purse as a crossbody bag, and I mean, it works pretty well, I guess, but the strap is kind of thin, so it kind of, like, digs into, like, my chest right here and my shoulder, and it doesn't feel that great, so... Uh, for the purposes of going shopping, and I will be doing a lot more shopping here soon because Alden's birthday is next month, so I'm going to have to get him some presents and whatnot. Anyway, so I switched purses. I'm using my skull purse that I got for Christmas last year. I'm obsessed with this purse. Um, the strap on it is a lot thicker. So it doesn't hurt when I have to wear it for an extended period of time. Um, and I, I miss this purse. I really love it so much. So I need to clean my purse out. So I thought I would do like a clean out my purse with me, what's in my purse kind of video. Because, um, I mean, I'll be showing you what is in my purse, but I also, I do need to clean it out. So um, I don't know. Hmm. I'll try and move you guys down a little because I know people like to see me pulling stuff out of my purse. Um, these I just got tonight from Target. Um, again, it's almost fall. So they have the limited edition caramels out and this is my favorite flavor. Um, I do like picking up the little bags of these at Dollar Tree, but this bag I think was only $3.99 and you get so much more. So I thought I'd just get this bag and this will last me for a long time instead of buying so many bags of Dollar Tree. And those I go through so much faster because you don't get very many in a bag. So these I just threw in my purse because I need to hide them so nobody else eats them. Um, all right. So my phone is in here. I actually just got a new phone. My phone, well, okay, so the phone I'm using to film is my most recent phone that I had been using for over a year or so. And I loved that phone, but it was like so outdated that my like phone service sent a text saying that it was going to like be shut off or whatever. So I had to upgrade basically. And I got a Samsung Galaxy, and I'm obsessed with it. I love the case that's on it right now. Um, I had been using a case that my mom got for me when I first got the phone, and I've been switching back and forth between cases. The other one is really cute. It's uh, silver, like sparkly stars, and it actually has more of a protector around the camera area, which I really like about that kind of case. Um, but this one's really cute, too. I am obsessed with that phone now, so, um, oh, I threw these in my purse because I got these for when I'm, you know, planning out different things for, uh, Alden's schooling, and if I get 
certain ideas and stuff, I have these sticky notes that I can like stick into the homeschool planner that I have. Um, so I can actually leave those out of my purse. Okay, this is just a piece of junk mail, but I wrote some notes on it, so I don't want to necessarily get rid of that, even though it looks like trash. Um, I have two different masks in here. I did get a couple of new packs of masks. I'm obsessed with these kitsch masks. So I got the pink pack, so it came with like a white and pink, tie-dye looking one, this all pink one, and uh, like a beige leopard print. And then this pack had this really cute dotted one, a black and white tie-dye, and some other one. I can't remember, but I'm obsessed with their masks. This is the notebook that I have in my purse for right now. And my little planner. I more recently got this from Target, and I love it. I think you saw that in my last What's in My Purse video. I'm using the little Dooney here that just has necessities in it, like Neosporin, Band-Aids. You guys know the drill. I show you every time. Oh, I did get a new thing for my keys. So for the longest time, I was always using um, those lanyards. And while I like them, um, they got annoying because, you know, even if you put them on top, you're if you're taking stuff out of your purse and putting stuff back in, the you know lanyard would end up getting like pushed underneath all that stuff so you're having to like dig for your keys and like really pull it out because the lanyard part would be stuck under everything else so I found this on Amazon they had some by themselves and it was more expensive to buy the thing I wanted by itself so the thing I got is like a, like a bracelet for your keys but it also came with a cute little puff and a wallet for like $7.99 so I just I got that one um it's just this little thing easy peasy throw it on your wrist and if you don't want to take your purse this is so easy to just you know take with you um got the little puff and I just have you know the keys that I need and a little key knife um, I'm not using the wallet that came with this I think the wallet that did come with it is supposed to be able to like attach to this as well um, but I am using my favorite wallet that I've ever come across that I also found on Amazon. I will link it below. It was less than $20. More specifically, I think it was like $17. And it's like a Louis Vuitton lookalike, if you will. So this is the wallet. I love it so much. It is so cute. They had brown and they have black. I really love the black. It just, it looks so nice. And it's so well made. I, I'm obsessed. And I don't have a ton of cards. A lot of the wallets I have have like a million card slots that just stay empty because I literally only have a few cards. And so this is perfect because there's six card slots. It's not overkill. And then there's a little pocket here, little pocket here spot for cash and then a spot for your change and it's just it's compact it's not huge it's cute it'll match any purse that you want to use highly recommend um maybe one day i will also get the brown just so i have another wallet that i love to switch into that's just a little bit different but i really love the black one um i also got myself a pair of wireless earbuds um these my purse is falling these came from five below so they were I think like eight dollars or eight something and I for the longest time I didn't care to get a pair of these but it is so much easier when like you're cooking and you want to watch a YouTube video or listen to music you know you don't want to necessarily like if you have to like drain water out of a pot you don't have to carry your phone and set it next to the sink because you have wires with your earbuds attached to it you know what I mean it's it's frustrating so I never thought these would work for me though because of the style of them um I never liked the earbuds with the little like dome thing on them I always liked the kind that used to come with the iPods just the classic earbud looking thing they work better for my ears 
but they were under 10 bucks. I thought I would try it. They work really well. They actually stay in my ear. These types of earbuds usually don't. They just like pop right out, but I haven't had any issues yet. Um, I definitely think I will invest in a pricier pair eventually. Not really pricey. Like I found some on Amazon for like 30 bucks, but I didn't want to shelve out 30 bucks <coughs> right away um, if I wasn't going to like them. So the case, I have it charged up. You just plug it in with your phone charger or whatever, and you're good to go. I went with green. I think they only had like green and black, so I liked the green. It was a little bit different. I feel like <clears throat> I'm not used to talking like this anymore, so I just, I need a drink. <laughs> <clears throat> my throat's just like you're not used to talking this much anymore which I'm not because I haven't made a video in so long I actually did film this video um, a couple nights ago and I hated it I still have it on my phone I like was gonna delete it and then I was like no just in case and here I am redoing it so all right so that was all the stuff in like the back part of the purse because this purse does have like a middle divider so I'm going to tackle the other side all right this I think is just the receipt from tonight oh my god um I have an old jack-in-the-box receipt it's really weird lately like we got jack-in-the-box when did we get it on the second and we got it at nighttime. They were open. It was fine. The last couple of nights, every single Jack in the Box in my area has been closed. Like, completely closed. And that's really weird. Because usually their drive through is all night, I believe. Um, but they've just been completely closed. So either, like, everybody, like, got COVID and they can't work. Or they can't get people to come into work. And that just really sucks. Like... Not that we've been wanting Jack in the Box a lot lately, but like last night we were just really hungry and we were gonna get Jack in the Box. It's just a quick, easy thing to eat, but they were closed. So instead we went on a late night donut run and got a dozen donuts. Okay, another Target receipt. Another Target receipt. I swear I do not live at Target. Another Target receipt. I haven't cleaned out my purse in so long. I have this sitting here so you guys can see me pull stuff out, but my purse keeps like slowly tipping over. I have a Canes receipt. We got some Canes lately. Now Canes has been open. They're actually surprisingly open late. They're open from like, I don't know, 10 a.m. till midnight, which is weird. I feel like most places that aren't 24-7 close at 10, but they're open really late. All right. Hand sanitizer is a must. Also, hand wipes. Some tissues. Oh, another another receipt. Another another Target receipt. This one's from last month, though. I'm telling you. Like, I've needed to clean my purse out for a very long time. Sunglasses. My camera, I did just charge up the camera because it was dying. My wild child body spray. I really want to switch up scents, but I don't really have any other, like, smaller bottles that I can use for my purse right now. Um, I have that Lola lip balm that I got from Dollar Tree. Highlighter, pens. I don't know why I need three pens, but apparently I do. Oh man. Well, this was a pack of gum, you know, those little cubes, but they're like completely smashed down and it feels like one big goop. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can still pick it apart for an individual piece of gum. That's the only thing I hate about these little packs from Dollar Tree is, you know, they can get smushed really easily, but 
I also have this giant pack of gum. This was my favorite gum as a kid, besides Juicy Fruit. I loved the double mint flavor. Um, my list for the store, my EOS hand cream, my purse will not sit up for the life of me, my Dr. Pepper lip balm, baby aspirin, nasal spray. Since we're getting into the cooler months, I need to be prepared at all times in case I do end up getting a cold. Um, my power bank, which came in handy like the past couple of months when we had bad storms and lost power. My phone stayed charged all night with this. That's a really good one. I did actually get a second one. It's not as powerful as that one, but I just grabbed it to have in case, you know, one isn't charged all the way when we lose power. I'll have a backup, but also if I'm using one, you know, my fiance or Alden can use another one for like their stuff. Um, okay. This is about to cut me off, so give me a minute. All right, I gotta hurry before I have no more room on the phone to finish the video. Um, my watch is in here. Cord, mirror, mints, lip balm, lip, lip gloss, another lip balm, <laughs> another lip balm. All right, my purse is officially cleaned out. It is falling over. I'm sorry you could hardly see it in this video. I'm about to get cut off, so I'm gonna try and end this here. Sorry it's been so long since I made a video. I will try and be more active on here again since it's starting to cool down and my house does not feel like hell. So uh, I'm about to get cut off. So I will talk to you guys again really soon. Bye.